you amazing beautiful people and welcome back to another Genshin Impact Thursday. Couple of things to address. Yes, I have moved office. I'm in a new office. It is a work in progress, so please bear with me. The audio might be weird, the lighting might be weird. We'll get there. We're improving it every day, every new recording session. The second thing is my voice may be weird. I am not well, so it may be very cro croaky right now. I'm um I'm pretty damn ill. Yeah, I'm pretty ill. I don't really know what it is, but uh, I had something like a couple of weeks ago, and I swear I've not been better since. So yeah, my voice may be a bit weird for this reaction, maybe more quiet than usual. This is easily one of the most requested and recommended OSTs from the Genshin Impact world that has been rec like recommended in my comment section recently. I see this one popping up everywhere. You guys have been asking me to react to this for ages, so I think it is safe to say you want this. I'm going to stop talking. Let's keep this intro short. Don't forget to press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. And let's jump into my first time ever reaction to Genshin Impact OST across dimming asterisms. The unfathomable sand dunes. I've seen this, um, this building, this like structure on the map. I was actually going to go in it a couple of live streams ago, but people told me if I did, I'd never get, I'd never get out. You've got to love how when it comes to Genshin Impact music, all the music is like region based or inspired by actual locations in on our planet. Like, is a, like the, the sort of infusion for like Egyptian music and something you would hear in like the Mummy soundtrack or something like this is, is amazing already. What's the word for that? Ara Arabian? Is it Arabian? What's the style of music? does perfectly in, in in this 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 captures the freaking image so well this ost like with the pyramid with the sands with the with the dunes that we're seeing with with the just the scorching weather and the the misty cloud like everything about this image is perfectly captured in that ost it's amazing how the osts complement the regions in genshin so flawlessly like so well done region OST. I, I, I'm pretty sure it is, right? It's not a boss OST or a fighting OST or anything like that. It's literally, it, I mean, it might be a fighting OST. I know regions have like combat based OSTs. So if you're like, if you get into a fight in somewhere, the music will change and shift. It could be that. It does have the same sort of like pacing to be that. But the, like this, other than that, this is just a region one, right? Do you know what else is really interesting? The Genshin Impact soundtracks always have so many different like instruments and, and like live orchestras and all that sort of stuff. But the OSTs, because they change based on region and style, they change in terms of how many different instruments they would have to use. And what I mean by that is you'd have like a whole orchestra dedicated to like Asian sounding, like an Asian style. But then you'd have a whole orchestra that is completely separate, but just as detailed and intricate that is more um, like African or Middle Eastern, like, like this. You, do you know what I mean by that? Like, it's like they, they have to have completely different teams for each one. Zero, which is just crazy. Like, you can't even reuse the same one. That's what I'm trying to work the same.
said that I, I really want to just log on to Genshin right now and just go to this building. People said don't go in there or get lost, but I, I, I kind of want to go in it now. I kind of want to. I, I kind of want to see what's inside. I'm, I'm very curious. The music, it, the music is making me want to go there, guys. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> God, it's so amazing. It's ridiculously amazing. an OST like this, like a, a new score like this with a completely different sort of region inspired, right? To create something like this, would you need a completely new orchestra? I know a lot of you have like knowledge on that uh, in the comment section. Would you need a completely new orchestra? Or could, or can like, can a single orchestra play that like, I don't, I don't know how it works. Cause I'm guessing there's a lot of instruments in here that not everyone will be able to play and perform. How does it work? Like, how does it work in terms of like the Genshin world when creating these soundtracks and creating like having such a wide variation of such complex and detailed music. How does it work with regards to creating that music and the teams needed to? Can, does someone know? Can you let me know? I'd love to, I'd love to know. Anyone else just really wanna watch the money right now? Endings like the Game of Thrones ending music. Coming back? A little like electronic reverb on the outro there. So at first, I assumed this was like a region, like a region um, OST, you know? Um, that was what I first presumed. Then, based on the pacing of it, I was like, maybe it's a combat OST in this region. Maybe when you get into a fight, this is what plays. But, as it ended and wrapped up the way it did, now I think it's a scene OST. Because it could be a boss fight. It, it very well could be. But it feels like a, a like tied up with a, a nice little bow. And something you usually see with like the combat OSTs or the region OSTs is they're a bit more open, right? It doesn't feel like a complete song. Like, like, like you know, here's the, here's, the, here's the first verse, the chorus, the verse, the chorus, done, right? Um, and that usually like, uh, usually with the sort of region OSTs or the combat OSTs or anything that's a bit more open and going to be regularly played, they don't wrap it up, right? They leave it open. This was wrapped up in a nice little bow. It was, it was a completed song. It ended, you know, it, it like it had its builds, it had its drops, and it had an end. It was a completed song. So for it to be a completed song, that makes me think that it is a um it isn't a region OST. It isn't it could be a boss OST. It, I don't think it's a combat OST. My guess, and I may be wrong here, um, because I like the way it is is it's a scene. A scene that happens in in the game. That's what I think. I could be completely wrong here, but that's what I reckon. I reckon I reckon something happens maybe at this pyramid, some sort of scene, and this OST plays. Which, if that's the case, that's really cool. Um, because it is amazing. It's so well done, so completely different. And again, I'm just sitting here, and the, first, this, the main thought I've had this entire reaction is the last reaction we did, right, where we checked out the live symphony orchestra of Inuzima. Uh, or was that like two reactions ago? Um, either way, when we recorded that one, we had like this full symphony orchestra with all the instruments that a lot of you would, would know, a lot, like I would know, like the more commonly orchestral in instruments that people are aware of, right? But we've checked out ones in the past where they've done like so many different live performances and intricate detailed performances with instruments I've never even seen before or heard of. And I'm just thinking, in the Genshin world, like in, t like, in terms of behind the scenes, how do they do this? 
Like, how do they actually do this? How are they able to have so much insane diversity in terms of the music? Am I the one who just is just completely mind blown by it? Like, how are they actually able to do this? You know what I mean? Does it just blow anyone else's mind? Because you can have an entire soundtrack like this, completely different to anything else, ba like completely region based and, and, and so like specific. But then you can just go to another OST, but from the same game, which I'm guessing a, a completely different team has created and for a different region and with, a, again, a whole new orchestra full of different instruments. How? The budget for the musical team at Genshin Impact must be ridiculous. It must be ridiculous. I, in my head, I just imagine like they're they're like handing out the budgets like every sort of like quarter or something like that. And they're like, here's the music budget, uh, here's the animation budget, here's this budget, and all other people are like, how come we have been given ten pounds to you know improve the animation, but the musical team has been given up five hundred million? And that's what it feels like. The soundtrack in Genshin, like the more I react to it, the more I go down this rabbit hole, and we've done so much already, it still keeps like spiraling off on different tendrils and journeys and everything like that and again with this it's like a whole new region a whole new style everything and they like create a whole new style from scratch just for a region it's nuts man it's freaking insane anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction i know it's been a bit more quiet and mellow than my usual reactions i do apologize again i'm really not well but i have to record because i i'm taking some time off over christmas so i need to get ahead Otherwise, I wouldn't be recording today. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it, even though it's a bit different. I really hope you all have a wonderful holiday season. Thank you very much for watching my videos. I appreciate you guys so much. If you enjoyed it, please press that like button. Subscribe to the channel as well. As always, my friends. Mm -hmm.